Hello everybody, welcome back to another Shrine Guide. Today we have Shrine number 9, which is ironically in all of places right where we have to go for the main story, right here in Kakariko Village. So, with that in mind, uh, basically the only thing you're going to do is literally follow the road. Follow the road, follow the road, follow the road, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up, but up, but up. So, I will see you guys here in a, there in a little bit. Oh, one thing I should mention, you can tame a horse here. If you go out, you probably saw them as we were going towards one of the shrine videos. Out here in the wilderness, there is horses. If you talk with some of the people here inside the stable, they will tell you how to do so and the easiest way to do so. Oh, I thought that was the horse. Anyways, uh, using a horse is much faster if you can tame one. There it is. There's one. Um, you can give it a shot. Basically, you just kind of crouch. Uh, the multicolored ones are a lot harder to do than just single colored. But yeah, you basically mount and you try to soothe it by just rapidly tapping L as much as possible. It'll take a couple of times, but if you really want the horse, you can literally just stalk it. And it'll calm down. And then you can just crouch back down and come right back near it most of the time. Unless it like stares at you, then of course it's gonna see you, which this particular horse in particular is being an asshole. So try to come up behind it. Oh my God. Fucking choo choos. Keep scaring it off. Just don't make this damn horse any fucking easier. And of course, it stops for beetle, which, all right. So sneak up behind the horse. Mount. Really soothe it, soothe it. It takes forever, honestly, to soothe one of these fuckers, but it's kind of worth it. So I'm going to try to do it real quick just to show you guys and then skip. Screw that. I'm not going to mess with it. So, every time it bucks you, your stamina bar depletes. So, if you're having a hard time, you might just want to wait and get a couple more shrines and upgrade your stamina bar um, a couple of more just so you can hold on longer to soothe it. It's what I suggest doing. I think it's what I was doing. Um, that, that's pretty much it. Yep. Yeah, uh, that's really probably... That's, Pretty much really what it what is this what is that who's on that that's just trailer okay um yeah peace cake so i will see you guys as we climb towards kikariko because here is kikariko bridge
Okay, so another thing to mention. This guy right here. He will be here for the two times that you talk to him. His name is Hestu. We can see him because we are Link. We are a descendant of uh, the Gokuri and the Korok and everything else. As we're also the hero of time. Well, the hero of time is technically dead. But we are the legendary hero. And we are one of the very few people that can actually see the Koroks. So. It's been a hundred years since anyone else. Because the last person that was able to see him was technically us. But we are not recognized. So. Mini shrine quest here. It's worth it. Trust me. No, it's actually not a shrine quest. It's just a mini, mini quest. So his maracas got stolen. It's really easy just to come do this. As you climb up, it's honestly, it's on the way. It's really, really worth it though. Because if you get his maracas back and you have some cork seeds, he will actually buff up your, um, your inventory he will give you a slot he's only here a couple of times though and then he returns to Korok Forest alright that's it these guys are annoying One down, two down, three down. All right. Oh, I lied. Now he's down. Dick. And you get a chest too, so it helps. And you get a book. See, a book holding guts. So good things to keep. All good things. Jump the ladder chest you get the maracas so all right maracas yay okay so now we take this and we go all the way back down we give it to him um i've only got two croc seeds so we can only open up like one or two inventory slots if that uh, pretty much every time you upgrade he will increase the number of seeds required so just to keep that in mind, but you know, since there's 900 seeds, like that just gives you an excise. So now he's got his maracas back. There's something wrong with them. All the Korok seeds inside of them are gone. He can't dance. If he just had one Korok seed, then he could give his powers. Inventory expansion. Talk to him again, we have three seeds, therefore we can at least do one inventory slot for all three of our uh, places. We get the bow, the shield, and our actual clothing slot. So yes, give him a seed. And it increases for every position. So weapon, bow, and shield. So it's one for weapon stash, one for bow stash, one for shield stash. So then it'll be two, then it'll be four, then it'll be eight. Um, Basically, sometimes it'll, uh, it won't, actually, I don't even think it doubles. I think it's like one, two, five, or something like that. Kind of crazy. All right, skip that. Get an extra weapon slot now, which is great. Weapon slot, it's been expanded, yes. Bow stash. So we skip this, but yeah, he goes to Korok Forest. Which is where we get the Master Sword and everything else, which is kind of a pain in the ass. Um, really is kind of a pain in the ass. See? You can only upgrade twice. So I need to get back before Grandpa yells at me. Sorry, I have to go. I still need Korok seeds, so bring some to the Korok Forest if you find any. And that's it. So he's basically, even if you try to like beat him and try to keep talking to him, he's going to send you off. So, that's it. He's basically going to see you off up the mountain, and then after that, that's it. He's gone. He's in Korok Forest, and you cannot go to him until you find him again. Which is through the Lost Woods, and where you get the Master Sword. So, yeah. Anyways, okay. Back on our trip to Karkar. Go see you guys then.
Okay, so we've made our way to inside of Kikariko. So what you're gonna do is just don't talk to anyone. You're just gonna sprint your butt inside the village. Follow the main path. I lied. I lied. Don't follow the path. Follow the path somewhat. But don't go left. Go straight. Go all the way this way. Oh, by the way, that's Cuckoo. They're no longer the white, adorable chickens that we used to know and love. So, looky there. The next shrine. A Tolo Laeg shrine. Boink. Go inside. This is going to be the shrine that you're going to be teleporting to just to get into Kikariko all of the time. This is a great, great little shrine just because it's so close to everything. <sighs> so, Tello Naeg's teachings. Um, pretty kind of a straightforward shrine, though. Take open the chest. And you get a blade, a very decent blade. The a full blade. Come over to the right, you have another chest. Take up another chest. You get the shield of the mind's eye, which is a decent shield. So let's go open up our inventory real quick and drop something like this broken Boku shield. Okay, boink. Fantastic. So we walk towards the middle. Yeah, it's a mini trial. You get a guardian scout. And you're basically literally going to go through a tutorial. So, it's going to teach you how to sight hop. And it's just going to stand there. And it wants you to literally sight hop every time. So do that. So you side hop and you pull your rush off of it like that. Ta da. Now you're going to do a backflip. And you're going to flurry rush, boink, boink, boink. You can repel an attack if you parry with your shield at just the right time. Strike back in the opening that you create. So, yeah. Now you're going to want to parry it. Kind of hard just to get the timing down, but ta da, parry. That's it. And now it's going to teach you how to do a charge attack. And that's how you finish it off. But you also get a guardian sword, weak but strong. And by that, I mean weak durability. You've done well to learn these crucial skills, now proceed. So, really straightforward tutorial, really, really basic, really, really easy shrine. Door opens, you go all the way through, piece of cake. Yeah, 
Constantinople. Yippee ki yay. Doink. And that's it. So, with that in mind, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you guys want to see more. Obviously, there's going to be more. I'm doing all 120, so hopefully you guys are doing this with me, and I hope I can do you some help. See you guys later.